Hey everyone and welcome to my craft room. My name's Julianne Richards and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. It's uh, Friday morning late um, and I'm recording this little video for you today because when I play it on Saturday, my normal Saturday crafting time, um, I'm actually going to be holding my very first stamp camp. So I'm going to be um, going live over on a different channel so I thought just so you, the rest of you don't miss your Saturday morning crafting, uh, I'd pop on, record a video and show you um, some, some old and some new products um, in our usual time slot. Okay, a um, couple of things before we start. One thing that I'm particularly proud of and, and really keen to get going is my introduction to stamp to card making course. Uh, I'm calling it a course because basically it uh, runs through a whole series of techniques from the very simple stamping right at beginners uh, to cutting your own card bases and layers, getting the measurements right, all the way through to fussy cutting, stamping off and ending with a, a really cute little fun fold that uh, brings together all the other techniques that you've learnt during the course. So um, it's uh, $85.50 plus postage. The postage will be about $10.00. Uh, and for that, you basically get um, the uh, Sweetest Cherry stamp set, the um, assorted um, ink spots, classic ink spots. So there's eight colours there in our little ink spots. So you have all the inks that you need for the um, for the course and a um, Memento Black ink pad, which we all need as well. So you get those things. They actually retail at $85.50. So for free, on top of that, you get all the cardstock, bling, ribbon, um, designer series paper, plus uh, that you need for the 10 cards, plus you get instru written instructions and uh, video as well. So I've got you covered for whichever way you like to learn, plus a, a $15 credit voucher if you want to come back and get some more um, product and stuff after you've finished. So it's a good little course, good value for money and a great way to start your card making um, adventure. Uh, another couple of things I have happening at the moment in the craft room. I have, just going to make sure that come on. I've got, oh, I've got my September to December product shares. I've got a paper share which you get um, quarter packs of eight of the brand new designs. A lot of them are around uh, Christmas and holidays and that sort of thing because that's the season we're coming into. Um, so eight, um, eight designs, you get a quarter pack of each, including one beautiful um, gold um, embossed specialty paper. And for that, that is $38 for um, plus $10 uh, postage and handling for that one. I'm um, also, and this is a new one for me this time, a combo bling ribbon share. Basically you get half a pack of five new embellishments and half a roll or half a ream, whatever we call it, half a roll of uh, five brand new ribbons and that is $64 plus $10 postage and handling. Now if you want the lot, you want the paper share and the um, bling share you can get both of them for a hundred dollars so you're saving money there and only pay one that lot of um, postage and handling so you get both shares for a hundred dollars plus a single ten dollar postage and handling which is a uh, hundred and ten dollars and I've also got out um, this week or coming up this week my um, bottled happiness product class um, for this one you need the bottled happiness at least the stamp set, but preferably the punt, the bottled punch as well. Um, three designs, you get uh, everything you need to make two each of those, so six cards in total. And um, the details for that one will be out on my Facebook page um, from tomorrow. Okay, so we'll pop the camera back on. Get rid of that one. And today we're going to do some crafting. Okay, so here we go. Um, as I say, a, a combination of old and new products. I'm going to make this little card for us here. It's actually quite a big card. It's a five inch square card. It's actually a twisted easel. So you can see there it twists up and the easel foot is that little circle there. We're using the uh, textured floral stamp set there for those beautiful, beautiful flowers. But you may recognize that I'm also using the upcoming very new 
or um, available early September deckled circles. And I just couldn't resist these huge deckled circles because I thought they would just be perfect for that sort of easel look there. So I'm using, I think it's not even the biggest. I haven't got come to terms with the big one yet. It's I think about the third biggest and then graduating down to the smaller ones there just to make that pretty round frame. Anyway, I, the one I'm making with this has been uh, modified slightly. I'm not using the lemon lolly layer there. I don't know. I, I liked it when I was doing it, but I wasn't quite sure once it was finished whether it actually needed that extra colour. So I'm just sticking to the to the pinks and the greens in the in the one we're going to make together. But up to you which one you prefer best. Okay, so let's get started. What I have to get started with is a. Um, uh, uh, bubble bath card base it's at uh, 10 inches long by five inches wide it's been scored at five inches in the middle to, to create the five by five card base and then again from the bottom corner to the top um, corner so what is this the corner down by the score score line in the center up to the top corner and that actually as you can see turns it into our cute little easel fold just with that little um, sort of a, a half diagonal score line in there. I'm just going to um, burnish these score lines so that they fold nice and sharply. Okay. And that's that's fundamentally our, um, our card base even though you probably couldn't have done something this big with a smaller with the smaller circles. So getting our deckled circles out, and I'm not sure if you saw this my my um, video during the week. These are the deckled circles. Just to introduce them to you again. Um, they're coming in the September to to December mini catalogue, but I have a feeling if they are popular enough, they will probably stay. They are just amazing. The largest circle there, so the largest. There's about 14 there, I think. Largest is um, across there in. Um, circumference no is that circumference that's right diameter the largest in diameter is uh, is uh, over five and three quarters of inches so i think it's about 15 centimeters across going right down to a little inch one in the middle there so i think it tends to be every half inch gradiated down so that's the way they've designed that but amazing amazing value and i'm just can't wait to use it more and more and more so i think i've started with a large-ish one in bubble bath. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's the third one down. Yeah, it looks like it's the third one down, so that's not even the biggest one that we have. So I've got that in bubble bath. I'll just pop those away. Next size down from that, I've got this pretty, pretty, pretty um, paper from the um, uh, Delightfully Eclectic bundle love this paper use it a lot 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 everyone's probably getting quite sick of it seen it such a lot then a couple of sizes down I've got a another just deckled circle of vellum just to soften that where I've got my other flowers and then I've got various other things that we're going to come in with our sentiment and our foot as well so using one two three four five of these little um, five of these deckled circles to make this card um, I've also got the other side of our really pretty, pretty paper, cut a square and I'll cut it in diagonal and that's going to sit on the front just to take some of that plainness off our little easel card. So I might actually do that now. And I'm looking here, I haven't cut myself a, uh, a white panel for the inside, so I'm going to have to do that as well. A little bit of splodge there, get rid of that. So I'm going to use the... Um, stripes on this part so that's the other side as much as I hate covering over the pretty flowers so that's these are going to go there so as I say this is a five by five card base so this um, this uh, these two triangles I have created from a uh, four and three quarters so you take half a a quarter of an inch off the the maximum size and cut that so four and three quarter square cut it across the center and you get two rectangles which fit pretty well across your card base 
Just a bit too much glue there. Okay. So that's going to bend in the middle there like that. Okay. So let's pop that aside for a second while my wipe dries. So we'll layer up our deckled circles now. So our paper. So the same, the it's the same size, the biggest circle, the biggest pink circle, but I've upgraded my, and then my ink's got this gungy bit. Um, I've up, upsized the designer series paper circle because we're not using the yellow one. So pop in the comments which one you prefer once we see the end result, if you prefer it without the yellow, the lemon lolly layer, or whether you prefer this one. I just think the lemon lolly was a little bit distracting with the rest of the stuff that we had going on. Okay, so that's our first two together. Great circles. And I'm going to bring in my um, vellum. Now, because we're covering over our vellum with some pretty flowers, I can just bring the glue in in the middle there and pop that in the centre. Normally, um, I'd cut my, uh, be a bit more careful gluing my vellum down but because we're covering most of it with our design it's not too much of a problem so there we are so that's our three layers designer series paper cardstock and vellum okay so now we want we need to do and i'm going to do this first so that i can um, let it dry for a bit is we're going to put glue on half of our circle and just glue it to the bottom half of our card base that sort of bottom um, triangle of course we don't want it to glue to the top of the to the other half of the triangle because yeah we don't want we want our card to open nice and freely like that so I'm just going to pop some glue just on half even less than half just to be safe so just on there make sure I put the orientation correctly and pop that down now this one this is um i picked this largest deckle circle very carefully because it is exactly five inches across so it fits our card base pretty perfectly yeah so no glue where i don't want it which is on the back there and it's going to flip open like that I don't know how my new webcam is standing up. I know the colour is nicer, but um, I think it's probably it's focusing quicker. I can tell it's actually focusing quicker. And the, as I say, the colour is good, I think. So my new webcam might be, might be an improvement. Okay, so I'm going to pop that aside just so that all the elements can dry. And we're going to start doing some stamping with our pretty textured floral stamp set, which is... In the current catalogue so if you love this one you can grab it straight away so i'm going to match the colors in our um, card but in our designer series paper i'm going to use bubble bath for my flowers i'm going to make a little bit of a highlight to them in uh, fresh freesia and i'm going to use the berry burst for my sentiment um, the leaves i'm going to match again match the designer series paper oh can't see that yeah, um, bubble bath, fresh freesia for the flowers, berry burst for the um, sentiment and old olive for the leaves. So let's get stamping there. Because this is a <clears throat> photopolymer stamp set, I'm going to grab my little foam mat and pop my paper on there just so I get some nice coverage. And let's get stamping. So I'll grab a block. So I'm going to do one of the large flowers from the set. Again, grab my berry burst. Uh, bubble bath I mean pink that up and stamp it there we are such a lovely um, soft colour then I'll grab two of the smaller flowers so this is the sort of medium sized one And then one of this smaller flower 
Now this one, this flower intrigues me. This one, I have, I know it's supposed to, I'm doing it right. It's just that uh, I have trouble getting it to stamp um, completely. They tell me it's just me. But anyway, so I'll do two of those. I think I'm only going to use one, but I'll do two just so I can use the best one. And then on this small, this is like I think the second from smallest or might be the smallest. Anyway, really small um, centim uh, decal circle. I'm going to pop our little flower on that as well. And that's going to be, it's going to be our foot, at the foot of our um of our, of our um, easel once we get that far. Okay, so little stamens and insides of our flowers. I'm going to use petal pink, uh, fresh freesia, petal pink, fresh freesia. I'll grab a little block. just the little insides there and the next one the bigger flower has a bigger cluster this one here oh, I forgot the little one bring that other one back For our little foot. There we are. Okay, so that's our little flowers. I'm going to do our leaves too while we're here. Got our stamping hat on. I'm going to do two. There's a couple of leaves with the stamp set. There's a sort of a bigger one which matches the outline of the big flower quite beautifully. So I'm going to do that one. And then there's a couple of another smaller one, and I'll do a couple of that. Get my old olive. Now, old olive is quite a dark green. You don't sort of realise how dark it is until you see it. I sometimes miss miss my um, pear pizzazz that we had until the recent re revamp color revamp it was a sort of softer version that looks really really dark on the camera um, but it will lighten up as it dries thankfully um, because that is mega dark that isn't it and we'll do a couple of these okay so that's our leaves uh, while we're stamping I'll grab my sort of larger decorative circle and I'll grab my sentiment which I'm going to use the old favorite from this one is birthday blooms for you I'll grab my berry burst which is basically just a darker pink and I'll pop that in there Okay. Now I'm going to um, die cut these. Make sure I keep everything safe. I'm going to die cut these. Bring in my big machine. I think that's quicker. In my Circles, that's not what I want. Here are the textured floral dies. Pop that through a couple of times.
Okay, so that's most of it. A couple of extras to do. Don't need that one anymore, but I need that one. And the one in my hand. my camera apologies for that put these back So we have a nice big flower, a couple of the middle sized one and one of the little ones and then three leaves as well. So let's get started popping this together. Okay, so everything's glued. It's all nice and fine. It's going to flip open like this. I still have to cut that middle white panel, which I will do in a minute. Okay, let's pop our flowers on. I'm going to pop the big one just in the bottom sort of left hand corner if circles have corners but down around there. So he pops that with some glue. Then I'll bring in this sort of larger leaf which is the one that pairs with this flower quite prettily. It sort of snuggles just up under there. I'll make sure it doesn't go over the edge of everything too much. So we can fit it in the envelope without ruining it too much. So that's pretty good. And we'll bring in the next size up. One there and one towards the top. So we're just sort of forming this sort of little curve of flowers around the bottom left hand side sort of thing. And some leaves, some more leaves. So I'm going to pop one leaf out this way. Okay, and then another one. Where's that another leaf? so pretty lots of lovely colors you can see that um that old olives lightened a bit already and it continues to do so which is quite bizarre really okay so our sentiment circle another decalled circle i'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of that if i can find my dimensionals i had them here a minute ago So just pop that off to the left hand side a wee bit then we'll bring in our final little flower and he's going to sit sort of half on the sentiment circle and half off. So he needs a wee bit of glue there and a dimensional 
back here. There we are. Okay. Cute. Really cute. Now, I do have to cut myself a white square for the inside. Forgive me as I walk away to where my paper is kept. Now, just a white inside. Make that uh, four and, because it's a five inch card, I'll make it four and seven eighths, which is about. 12.4 by the looks of that centimeters wise. I'll pop this inside. Put our oh, forgot the ribbon. I was going to put some ribbon on the front. Oh well. Right. Now we're going to bring in our little foot. As I said, we've got this small little circle here, and I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of that just to give it a bit of height. That's what our easel foots need to stop our card from falling forwards. Again, we have to sort of test fold or test open to see how far back we want the card to sit. We want it to sit right back up straight. You push the foot right back towards the back of the card. If you're happy for it to fold, fall forward a wee bit, you, you put your foot closer to the front. I'm sort of going to half and half there. I'll pop it around here. There we are. So it'll sit open like that on our little easel foot Oop. okay so last thing we need to do is bring in some bling i've got my favorite iridescent jewels here and where's my little tool where are you so I might take my, take, my tick, take my pick tool and pop some of these around. Such a special card, I might use five. Put the boat, what do they call it? Put the boat out and go a bit crazy. One, two, three. Four. So I think one should be up over, oh, I'll put one over here and one up here. Yep, I think that's enough. There we go. So a fair bit of bling happening there. If you can see it, it opens up like that. And there's our Twisted Easel card. I'm not even sure I said told you at the beginning what it was called. Twisted Easel card. So we used our beautiful textured floral dies. Um, stamp set and dies or bundle and then our upcoming brand new deckled circles for that wonderful circular frame anyway hope you like that one uh, as i say it is a pre-recorded video but i will pop over after stamp camp or during a break in stamp camp and check out all your comments and answer any questions um, but um, yes yeah, so stamp camp goes all day so yeah it's going to be a great day so watch out for the next stamp camp if you'd like to be a part of it but anyway hopefully you enjoy that card you'll pop the deckled circles onto your uh, wish list for when the new catalog comes out um, i have my my um, supplies of new catalogs if you'd like to grab one please reach out i've popped some in the post uh, today so um, I'm happy to pop some in for you the next time. So if you wanted to tell me which one you prefer, do you prefer the one that's just plain pink, which is what we've done together, or do you like the one with a bit of pop of yellow? Uh -oh, it's a hard run thing, but I think I actually prefer the one that's all pink. I think it just is less distracting. But, uh, yeah, pop in the comments and tell me which one you prefer. Just either of them, very, very pretty.
Okay, so it's been great to catch up with you this morning. Uh, as I say, uh, leave your comments, say hi, and I will pop on and look at the look at everything everyone says once um, stamp camp is over. Um, but I will uh, definitely pop on live again and um, be with you all again um, during the coming week. So have a great weekend, and I'll catch you all again next time. <laughs>